settling into our virtual room. So I will uh, get us started here with just a few words of introduction. Um, my name is John Nolan and I'm here representing the ISAC Cyto Innovation Committee. Um, Cyto Innovation is a, a interest group within ISAC that's uh, especially uh, concerned with the commercial translation of new tech cytom cytometry technologies from the research lab into uh, commercial products that people can use. Um, uh, you may be familiar with the uh, Cyto Innovation Technology Showcase. That's part of the annual ISAC Cyto Conference. Um, uh, at those Cyto Conferences, we also traditionally uh, produce uh, scientific tutorials and workshops related to technology commercialization. Um, uh, of course, in this age of virtual meetings, it'll have to be another year before we meet again, but the technology showcase will be um, occurring in a virtual format again this year. And I'll give everyone a heads up that to look out for the calls for applications for that should come out in the next month or so. Um, just this past year, Cyto Innovation launched a new program aimed at uh, supporting the future generations of technology developers via the ISAC International Innovators Program. This is modeled loosely on the ISAC Scholars Program and the SRL Emerging Leaders Program and aims to um, engage incoming technology developers uh, in the society uh, so that we can take advantage of their uh, of their talents. Um, and then finally, as we're you know, in, in virtual mode, we've uh, initiated this series of, of programs we're calling Innovation Stories, which are uh, styled as interviews with uh, people who have been active and successful in the commercialization of cytometry related technologies. And um, this month, it's a pleasure to welcome um, Masanobu Yamamoto from uh, previously from Sony and um, now with MIFTEC. And I'll leave it uh, to Takiaki to do a formal introduction. But, you know, Yamamoto san has been with us now for many years in the cytometry community. But uh, because of his very interesting background, which we'll hear about here, he thinks about flow cytometry and cytometry differently than almost anyone else I know. And I always learn something new from uh, hearing Yamamoto-san talk. And so I'm looking forward to learning something new again today. Um, interviewing uh, uh, Yamamoto-san will be Takiaki Suguchi, who's uh, not coincidentally one of the initial class of ISAC uh, international innovators. Um, and uh, Takiaki will take uh, on the task of introducing Yamamoto-san and uh, hosting this, this session. Uh, Takiaki, take it away. Uh, thank you, John, uh, for introduction. Um, as John uh, mentioned, uh, today uh, Masanobu Yamamoto uh, will share his experience of innovator and entrepreneur uh, title with uh, photo sensing innovation and challenges from technology to market from Brulee to for cytometry uh, forwarding to single photon. Uh, total session time is uh, 60 minutes, uh, but we will pause and accept questions uh, several times. Uh, chat is open for questions, uh, so please enter your question in chat message of this Zoom channel. Uh, and today's session is being recorded uh, although detail is not decided, uh, but it will be shared somewhere uh, soon and will be announced, I hope. Uh, so I'd like to start the session now. Uh, I'll share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, yeah. Yamamoto-san, thank you for your time today. Uh, the first question is, uh, how, how did you get involved in cytometry? 
uh, please introduce and share your background and your experience. Okay, the, thank you very much, the Soa Johnson and the Sugimura san, and the kind introduction. And it is my pleasure and honor to talk uh, my innovation challenges in consumer photonics and the flow cytometry. And my name is Masanobi Yamamoto. I have been uh, worked in uh, laser optics and um, microfabrication for various uh, applications since early 70s, ooh, almost a half century. And uh, today uh, we would like to focus on uh, photosensing innovation in consumer optical storage and the uh, next generation flow cytometry we consider. Next slide, please. Firstly, the, we would like to review the past six years of history of the laser optical system. Optical storage and the flow cytometry have a quite different function and the application field. On the other hand, every laser optical system has uh, three essential component, laser light source, objective or samples, and the photosensor. Difference between the optical disk and the flow cytometry is a objective difference of the recorded mark or live cell. Laser optical system started since the first Ruby laser oscillation in 1960 at the Bell Laboratory. Flow cytometry has a longer history of the quarter principle by electric detection in, invented in 1949 and the sorting principle uh, by uh, inkjet in the 16th developed in the Los Alamos laboratory. Quarter principle has uh, achieved a great market value and a business success for quantitative uh, cell counting. After 12 years later of the laser oscillation, Philips announced the laser disk development in 1972. And uh, interestingly, the so Professor Hatzenberg uh, at the Stanford University developed the fax system at the same time. As a light source, uh, the laser disc uh, that are using a helium neon gas laser for leading uh, 12 inches disc, as you may know. The technical innovation of the laser disc was uh, to establish a non-contact readout method with the precise servo technologies. Uh, it was necessary to develop the high-speed photosensor with a split element. So uh, the laser disc accelerated the split pin, uh, silicon pin photodiode development and the production. Silicon pin uh, photodiode is uh, now uh, a major photosensor for the various application, including uh, optical storage and the flow cytometry. Uh, this is, uh, I think, is uh, so uh, a big innovation uh, from a photosensing perspective of view. Co-development uh, compact disc by uh, Philips and the Sony was uh, agreed in 1979, targeting the market introduction in, in, in October 1982, just uh, uh, three years later of the starting of the uh, co-development. Compact disc format development had uh, many technical challenges uh, direct to digital coding uh, to increasing the uh, recording density, 780 nanometers laser diode, 16 bit DA converter, and the disk replication. Uh, collaboration uh, by uh, two uh, companies had uh, achieved the technical hurdles and uh, introduced the market as scheduled. On the other hand, and so introduction of the CD audio was not so successful before the palm top CD player emerged. Uh, uh, player name is a D50. But uh, this may follow the typical uh, S curve consumer market penetration. We learned uh, the technological innovation is not uh, uh, equal uh, to the so, uh, market success. 
market value innovation is also the mandatory for paradigm shift from a tape recording and a black audio LP record. After CD market success, optical storage has been migrated to DVD and Blu-ray in every 10 years. Migration from audio, video, and high-definition video requires a five times a higher aerial density to keep same 12 centimeter disc diameter for especially important is the backward compatibilities. For higher aerial recording density, shorter wavelength lasers, higher numerical optic optics, and a thinner cover layer were developed. As a result of the technical and the market value innovation, uh, Blu-ray and the Blue Laser Diode were honored by uh, Emmy Award in uh, 2010 and the Nobel Prize in 2014. After completion of the Blu-ray development, we had uh, shifted to the flow cytometry and found the developed sensor and the laser diode for optical storage were also the used for the cell analysis. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, experience for us. In addition, migra migration path of the flow cytometry is to increasing a number of the color from a multicolor to spectral detection. Regarding to the photosensing device, PMT is a main photosensor in flow cytometry uh, almost over half centuries. Next slide, please. As well known more as a low in semiconductor migration, uh, audiovisual consumer market also have a historical law like a quarter century audio paradigm change from Edison playback. After the Edison cylinder is a thick uh, the so, uh, uh, disc and then the so, uh, long play uh, or younger generation is, uh, doesn't know the, already the LP and the CD and the so silicon audio and the probably uh, currently uh, we can say the so network audio. Another observation in consumer market is technology and the uh, product concept changes uh, basically every seven years. And also the one technology life is, it's uh, interesting about uh, 30 years. Like uh, tape recording, uh, cathode ray tube, and the many other technology in the consumer market are now demonstrated in museum. Optical drive uh, the, and the disc had been developed for the audio and the video content di distribution. Since uh, CD introduction in 1982, optical drive production achieved 1.2 billion per year in 2010. In order to continue the market growth, new format drive must keep the backward compatibilities with the two or three laser wavelength optics. Optical disc media production, maybe 2008 is a peak, was so 40 billion. This is a so amazing number of the six discs per world population. The, it is easily possible to estimate uh, so, uh, total optical drive and the uh, optical disk market. For example, uh, is uh, so, uh, drive uh, price is uh, $50 or uh, media price is uh, $5. Easily uh, the uh, uh, estimate market size is over 100 billion or maybe over 200 billion. Nobody might not expect a huge growth and the market size comparing to the previous uh, consumer package media like uh, uh, VHS or uh, betas like that. The following the, so, uh, this kind of the, uh, history, we can understand uh, this is a result by uh, integrating of the technologies and the market value innovation in digital era. 
Optical storage led the digitalization of the information past 30 years. Flow cytometry market was smaller than 1 billion uh, in 10, 2000, 2010 when so Sony uh, started the development. And, uh, but the uh, good shows a nice growth over 60 billion in 2020 hits. The 10% growth is uh, entry motivation uh, by a potential player from uh, other industry. Uh, this is uh, my previous uh, uh, the experience and the introduction of the uh, optical storage. And uh, later, the, I would like to explain the why Blu-ray to the soft flow cytometry. A any question? Uh, okay, so it, it's a very interesting uh, story about your career. And what attracted you to do it? Uh, the, yeah, the, uh, my uh, career is so, uh, always the uh, optics. So in that sense, is, uh, uh, I was very lucky when uh, so, uh, Sony joining is, uh, so, uh, uh, Philips announced uh, uh, the so, uh, laser disc concept. And uh, uh, due to the global activity of the optical standard, it's uh, frequently uh, the visiting to the so, uh, 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 and uh, Philips R&D. And it was a very interesting experience to develop the global format of the optical uh, storage. Yeah, thank you. Uh, wh what other choices did you have at the time? And uh, why did you choose this one? <laughs> Yeah, usually is a when you uh, the, are joining the large company, especially the development division, is uh, uh, the uh, job is uh, so automatically assigned. But uh, my case is a uh, very lucky. Is uh, just uh, after the uh, the so uh, announcement of the optical recording. Yeah, uh, at that time is uh, so uh, Sony is uh, so uh, magnetic tape recording ma manufacturer, mm -hmm. but uh, at the development division. Uh, the uh, one of the senior manager uh, would like to start an optical recording inside the Sony. And also the uh, other few uh, company uh, like Hitachi uh, is uh, so uh, later I heard is uh, so uh, they started the similar timing. But I think is a so uh, Sony is a so uh, earliest uh, the uh, company to start the so uh, optical recording in Japan. Yeah, thank you. Uh, did you join a group already working on this problem or <laughs> did you have a create such a group? Yeah, the, so I, uh, it's interesting is uh, uh, it looks, uh, optical recording is uh, might be, uh, looks uh, promising, but uh, due to the uh, unknown of the so, uh, market, uh, the so, uh, uh, capabilities. So the uh, firstly, is uh, uh, I and uh, other engineers and the senior manager, just the two uh, members is uh, started the uh, optical recording in Sony. Uh, two years later is uh, uh, top management or general manager of the uh, development division organized to the, uh, the uh, development team about uh, 20 members. That, that is uh, the uh, start of the uh, the team development of uh, uh, for the optical disc, especially the laser disc development uh, in Sony at that time. Okay. Uh, at that time, did you envision uh, such a staggering growth of this industry? Uh, laser disc and the LP is uh, uh, the not so big. Uh, uh, the so industry is, uh, yeah, uh, the staggering the result is uh, achieved by uh, uh, compact disc success. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the uh, keeping uh, backward compatibilities, a uh, new format of the DVD and the Blu-ray is uh, introduced. Uh, and also the, uh, there is a, a various uh, discussion to uh, develop the so, uh, CD. Mm -hmm. Ooh, for the just audio recording purpose, 14-bit is a sufficient uh, bit resolution. 
Oh, but uh, one of the uh, the director of the audio, who uh, uh, the future is a uh, uh, 16-bit is a uh, kind of the uh, digital uh, de facto standard. So the uh, uh, it's a mandatory to achieve the so uh, uh, 16-bit resolution uh, as a digital recording. But at that time, is a there is a no. Uh, DA converter or AD converter, even mm. uh, that's uh, available. Very, very expensive device is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, developed in US. So in that, uh, in that sense, is a uh, so, uh, compact disc development uh, is a uh, very challenging. Mm. I see, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, there are uh, not so uh, other questions so far. Uh, so thank, thank you, Yamamoto-san. Uh, you play a very important role in the development Blu-ray from optical disc. And also I understand that there are really interesting uh, relationship uh, between photo sensing technologies and uh, foresight metry. So I, I think that it's time to move on to the next topic. Uh, how did Blu-ray technology come to be used in foresight metry? Uh, based on your experience, uh, are you thinking about uh, what the market demand for the specific function and technology was? Uh, it's uh, uh, the interesting question. Is uh, a simple reason uh, is uh, uh, the uh, uh, moving to the so uh, uh, flow cytometry is uh, oh, uh, Blu-ray development was uh, completed and. Uh, Blu-ray development target was uh, to release the PlayStation 3 in 2006 November as the first Blu-ray players. Uh, uh, okay. So should, should, the, should I, should, yeah. should, should I uh, uh, proceed to the next oh, slide? Yes. Uh, next okay. Okay. Uh, All right. uh, please. And uh, uh, so the yeah, simple reason is uh, uh, my my team or my development team lost us our development target, uh, but uh, we are lucky. The uh, the uh, uh, flow cytometry is uh, uh, after the completion of the uh, Blu-ray project, and uh, uh, our team is so uh, back to the corporate R and D from a business division. Uh, fortunately, top message was uh, something new based on the uh, Blu-ray technology. Oh, something is uh, de depend on the uh, uh, our ideas or personally my ideas. So the uh, from uh, Blu-ray to the flow cytometry may include a very lucky or kind of the good arrangement and the dramatic opportunities. Blu-ray technologies have two categories on polymer microfabrication for disc replication and laser optical system for optical drive. Uh, it was a lucky chance uh, to transform the from disc uh, production to the microfluidics chip. Uh, before that, so uh, releasing is a uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, everybody know, but uh, uh, no mention is a uh, European big pharma company asked to the microfluidics chip development to Salzburg facilities. Uh, Zaltberg uh, members uh, so, uh, asked me uh, to uh, the request to the Tokyo R our R&D team on the technical feasibilities. Oh, that the microfluidic chip is currently uh, very popular is uh, so a uh, PCR microfluidic chip. Uh, it includes uh, multiple depth structures. It's a uh, complicated, uh, not one depth. So to meet the requirement, uh, we rapidly developed the micro 3D printers and the transfer to Zoutbook. Yeah, thanks to the top-down uh, project, no need to the negotiation. Uh, the if engineer uh, achieved the SOA target, uh, it's uh, directly possible to transfer to the business. And uh, uh, simultaneously, 
and the Blu-ray disc and the microchip manufacturing started in the 2007 summer. Uh, that is uh, so, uh, uh, the celebration uh, ceremony of the Salzburg 20th anniversary of the CD production. This, this is uh, uh, the uh, Sony the, so, uh, microfluidics chip uh, the, so, uh, uh, study. Uh, later, unfortunately, oh. due to the so, uh, Sony destructuring, uh, the uh, microfluidics chip division is uh, sold to the German company. And uh, optics technologies, the transformation was also lucky chance by uh, uh, especially thanks to the current uh, cytometry society networking. The Professor Nakauichi, uh, who was a member of the Professor Hatzenberg laboratory, uh, gave a talk on the flow cytometry and uh, suggested to us, uh, because he's, uh, uh, we lost a job <laughs> or a target of the development, Sony uh, can contribute to human society rather than workmen. Uh, everybody firstly had a uh, new own flow cytometry. After the, his talk, we visited to his flow laboratory uh, located in the so, uh, Tokyo uh, University and uh, uh, firstly looked a big sort of instrument, might be the uh, BCC, a big sort of. And then uh, the, uh, we recognize the flow cytometry looks uh, very similar to optical storage configuration and uh, might be possible to contribute via Blu-ray technologies. And uh, then the uh, uh, young engineer is uh, so, uh, created uh, uh, the Sony uh, the, so, uh, uh, target of the uh, flow cytometry development. Original concept was uh, composed with uh, one of the keywords is, of course, is uh, microfluidics uh, technologies. And also the spectral detection uh, uh, invented uh, Professor Paul Robinson, uh, currently my partner, and uh, multi-channel scanning. Uh, at that time, is uh, 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 Professor Hatzenberg was uh, keenly interested in a new concept uh, and the Sony participation. He mentioned uh, flow cytometry uh, is the same in four, 40 years since his invention in early uh, 1970. He likes a new approach and the innovation. Uh, Professor Hatzenberg was uh, honored by a Kyoto Prize in 2006 uh, in, regarding to the invention of the fax machine and uh, unfortunately passed away in 2013. His will is my big uh, motivation uh, for the current flow development activities. The before Isaac conference in 2008 Budapest, uh, we organized the US flow uh, tour visiting to the Stanford Los Alamos Laboratory and the Purdue University. A current partner, uh, Professor Paul Robinson was at that time is uh, Isaac president and uh, introduced uh, Gary San, uh, who is the first speaker of the Saito Innovation Stories. At uh, Budapest conference, Hru people very, very welcome Sony's participation with a friendship and a strong interest. This is uh, might be is a uh, uh, reason is uh, uh, the big Sony uh, started the flow cytometry business. After collaboration with uh, Eyesight, uh, Sony integrated the University of Illinois the research park company in 2010, and later changed to the Sony Biotechnologies. After the Eyesight acquisition. I worked in US and uh, talked on the uh, Blu-ray technologies uh, contribution to flow cytometry at the many local flow cytometry conferences. Uh, this is a very uh, valuable uh, experience for, uh, for me. Uh, it was a very exciting five years experience from uh, knowing the uh, flow cytometry development eyesight acquisition working in US 
and the first Sony chip solder and the spectrum analyzer introduction to the market. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, yeah, five years uh, looks uh, long or short, but uh, firstly, knowing the word of the flow cytometry, uh, this is a very uh, high density period uh, to learn and the start of the flow cytometry for Sony. Uh, this is uh, uh, the uh, big transition uh, from uh, Blu-ray to the flow cytometry. Uh, thank, thank you, Yamamoto-san. Yeah, it's an amazing story, I think. Um, uh, yeah, so I, there is a question uh, from listener. Uh, flow cytometry is a low volume, uh, high volume product. Uh, op optical disc is a mass product for consumer. Uh, what was the motivation for Sony to make this uh, switch. Uh, what were the risks of this shift? Uh, did you shift meet the original expectations? Uh, yes, and uh, yeah, well, one of the my uh, the so, uh, basic uh, idea to consider the so, uh, new kind of the direction of the development of the business is uh, like uh, Sony, the uh, big company, they need so uh, of course a larger market. And uh, in order to uh, the, uh, uh, penetrate the larger market is uh, uh, business nature uh, must be the uh, elementary or kind of the infrastructures. Is uh, regarding to the uh, optical recording, ooh, uh, digital bit is also a very uh, attractive uh, business in futures. And I consider uh, the uh, the so, uh, uh, cell uh, live cell is a uh, elementary uh, uh, elementary uh, unit of the so uh, all of the animals and the plant. Yeah, if the so uh, starting to the uh, uh, the cell uh, analysis, it might be possible to uh, get the so uh, big growth. <laughs> of the uh, business. Yeah, uh, that is a very risky uh, addition, but uh, uh, currently uh, we are uh, now uh, 4 billion to the so 6 billion market size. Uh, it's a, a, a good direction. And uh, another way is uh, Sony have uh, a medical division uh, applying to uh, the so, uh, consumer technology the, to the medical printer uh, uh, or medical monitors. Uh, but uh, uh, if the so, uh, uh, we uh, collaborated uh, many years with uh, Philips, uh, Philips, uh, most may, many members know the since uh, so, uh, middle of the 90s. Uh, Philips direction is uh, moving to the so, uh, consumer uh, business to the so, uh, completely health care. And uh, uh, we discussed uh, with the uh, so, uh, Philips uh, uh, counterpart and the managers, uh, the so, uh, health care is a so, uh, uh, huge uh, the opportunities. Sony might be have to the, so, uh, change the direction to the health care. Such a kind of the discuss, discussion is uh, so, uh, trigger the, uh, the uh, Blu-ray to the flow cytometry uh, uh, transformation. Uh, thank you. Uh, from business aspect, not only from business aspect, uh, there, uh, I, I, maybe there are technical aspects. So how, how did you assess a Blu-ray technology and determine to take a path toward to cell biology applications? Uh, yes, uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, looking at the, so, uh, the uh, huge uh, gas laser based uh, uh, the, uh, the so, uh, salt, uh, the, uh, yeah, as you know, these uh, optical disc uh, drive is a very small, including uh, three wavelengths and the two higher numerical aperture, the optics. So the 
Mm, uh, it's uh, possible to uh, contribute to the uh, uh, new generation of the flow cytometry is uh, uh, possible to develop the by a Blu-ray based concept. And uh, for example, is uh, uh, Sony the first uh, the so a sort of is a uh, oh, replaceable uh, flow cell uh, is a so uh, uh, changeable uh, plastic uh, flow cell. And uh, one of the, uh, the uh, idea is uh, you can enjoy the uh, CD audio or DVD just to put on a, so a disc on a tray. It, the, uh, similar the, such a kind of the, uh, way is uh, uh, Sony is a, so a first uh, uh, chip sort of is uh, so everything is uh, automatic. Uh, the so uh, al uh, alignment and the arrangement. Just uh, uh, the user is uh, just uh, put on the button. Mm. Uh, that, that's such a kind of the, uh, the uh, concept is uh, so uh, uh, realized at the Sony flow cytometry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. So there are other story about the acquisition. Uh, how, how does Sony evaluate uh, other smaller companies such as iSight? Uh, what are the most important factors as to uh, if and how Sony will partner with a smaller startup? Yeah, the, uh, it, it's uh, interesting. Uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Sony have uh, no experience of the uh, water business or fluidic business. So the uh, one of the motivation is uh, in order to learn uh, so, uh, fluidics uh, uh, knowledge, uh, it might be a, a good way to acquire the so, uh, company. And also the, uh, the uh, at that time is uh, so uh, in US is uh, eyesight is uh, only one sm small company uh, uh, for the professional uh, the cell sorters. And uh, another aspect is uh, like uh, Sony is uh, always uh, the, uh, have an issue of the antitrust law. Uh, so the uh, collaboration with a big company or uh, 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 is uh, very difficult. And uh, another uh, the big reason is eyesight is uh, 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 started by uh, University of Illinois. Uh, University of Illinois is uh, uh, Sony is uh, uh, funded to the uh, Bardeen chair. The uh, Professor Bardeen is a uh, uh, famous of the inventor of the transistors, and uh, uh, and also the uh, Professor uh, Nick Holoniak is uh, famous on uh, LED and the laser uh, diode development. And uh, uh, top management is uh, no world as well, such a kind of the relationship. And uh, that, that is a uh, uh, good uh, uh, the, so, uh, background uh, to acquire the eyesight. And also uh, the yeah, uh, acquisition uh, is a, a very tough job, uh, but uh, uh, Sony have uh, uh, the big branch in the US, uh, Sony Corporation of Americas, and also the, uh, the uh, possible to arrange the so, uh, professional support. Uh, but uh, after the acquisition uh, is a uh, uh, most important uh, issue is how to uh, keep the close communication with Tokyo. Yeah, that is a uh, biggest reason is uh, I moved to the so, uh, Champagne and uh, works uh, at the eyesight is uh, two years. It was a very valuable experience uh, for me. Thank you. So we are expecting a uh, question from chat uh, message. So if you have any question, uh, you can uh, uh, ask a question in chat. Okay. Is there any question from listeners? No? Okay, uh, what are the difficulties you've uh, learned and experienced in pursuing acquisition and new business between Japan and the US? 
Uh, yeah, the, so uh, the, uh, yeah, I think is so the uh, our case is uh, uh, the uh, working well because is uh, one of the reason is uh, the every member uh, most of the member is uh, experience of the optical storage. Optical storage is uh, so uh, uh, major activities as uh, for global standardization. So the. Uh, the member is uh, frequently uh, visited to the abroad and uh, discussed with uh, uh, foreign uh, foreign members. So the uh, it is uh, the uh, uh, they uh, didn't uh, feel the so uh, any kind of the big culture uh, uh, gap. <laughs> so the uh, uh, the that is a reason is a, I think is a, so a, a smooth transition. Uh, by uh, experience of the uh, optical standard uh, standard discussion, uh, okay. uh, the discussion you. discussion with a uh, Dutch company is a uh, very tough. <laughs> All right, yeah. thank you. Uh, there are a question. Uh, I believe that you believe the uh, format specification of uh, technology is as important in commerce as the product itself. Uh, can you explain for our audience? Uh, yes, uh, the, so the uh, global standard is uh, uh, the very important to keep the compatibilities. The uh, physical uh, parameters, uh, the in order to the billions, billions, so uh, uh, the optical drive, uh, only three physical optical parameters are uh, defined uh, uh, to keeping uh, compatibilities. Uh, that is uh, uh, defined as uh, uh, the reading or recording spot size by your uh, wavelengths and the numerical aperture and the field condition. Well, one of the uh, big interest. Uh, the uh, the shifting to the uh, flow cytometry is uh, ooh, uh, there, there is uh, no uh, the industrial uh, standards <laughs> so the uh, currently uh, the uh, uh, the next generation uh, standard discussion is uh, started uh, led by uh, so NIST is a uh, uh, I personally hope to uh, establish the uh, the so uh, uh, nice industrial standard. One of the reasons is uh, previously 10 years ago is a uh, 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 flow cytometry or original member is still the active. Uh, and also the industry itself is uh, so very small. But uh, nowadays is a uh, uh, generation is shifted to the younger generation. And also the, as I uh, mentioned, is a uh, 5 billion or 6 billion uh, market size is expected. In that case is uh, it might be a mandatory uh, to establish uh, uh, the flow cytometry standard, uh, especially in uh, physical layer and the logical layer and the application layer. That is uh, my, uh, 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 understand. Yeah, thank you for that. So uh, we are proceed to the next topic. So it, it's amazing that uh, you are able to start with mm. technology development. Uh, presented your first technology presentation at Isaac, and then commercialize it in five five years. I, I also find it networking is really important. Uh, so now uh, let, let's move on to your new challenge. Uh, in 2016, uh, you founded the MIFTEC Corporation uh, based on research at Purdue University. Uh, why did you start your own business? Uh, also, please tell us the story of your process to build a startup. Yes. And uh, at the 2011 winter says, uh, I attended the uh, Emmy Award ceremony in Las Vegas and uh, elected the uh, AIMB Fellow in 2012. After back to Japan and retired Sony, uh, simple reason is uh, so I retired Sony. Uh, and uh, it was uh, another zero base opportunity to consider ooh, uh, what to do. Uh, so the, uh, I decided to establish a phototech laboratory in Yokohama and uh, consider the, what, is the, what kind of the, uh, the good idea for the flow cytometry. Is, uh, and uh, had the idea to apply the high speed uh, scanning technology the, for multiple cell uh, flow imaging. Uh, 
I discussed with uh, uh, Paul San at the AIMB 2013 annual conference in Washington, D.C. We agreed uh, to establish a joint development in U.S. After legal and the visa procedure, MIFTEC started at the Purdue Research Park. The company logo uh, that shows a spot scanning imaging concept. Uh, in order to uh, detect a sca scanning signal, uh, photosensor bandwidth is uh, required uh, wider and wider. Almost uh, accidentally and uh, inevitably, uh, we firstly met with a single photon signal and uh, a lot of the autofluorescence photon in a microscopy. The checking uh, commercial photon sensors, sensors had uh, no sufficient dynamic range for our purpose. Uh, this is a turning point to develop the single photon sensor by ourselves. Uh, we, we have uh, developed a solid state photon sensor with uh, 550 picosecond pulse widths and uh, demonstrated at the Photonics West 2018. We also uh, developed a single photon uh, spectrometer uh, combined with uh, direct driven monochromators. Uh, this is a nice instrument uh, to evaluate the fluorescence, Laman, and the autofluorescence, but that takes uh, several minutes to measure. The full flow application, uh, we are now developing a full spectral single photon sensor array with a 10 giga sampling per second. Thanks to the NSF award, we have developed a eight channel sensor array and electronics successfully. Next slide, please. At this moment, uh, we developed an eight channel sensor array uh, as a part of the 42 channel and the signal processing uh, which kept uh, at the 2.5 giga sampling. Target sampling rate is a 10 giga sampling per channel. A 42-channel system uh, covered uh, 350 to the 800 nanometers performs uh, so 420 giga sampling per second. Basic software function is uh, photon digitizing, photon mapping and uh, counting, uh, even uh, uh, event waveform by uh, digital filters and uh, statistical analysis. It may be possible to measure the time correlated phenomena in future. The development idea was uh, simple, uh, that uh, the compact disk innovation uh, was uh, uh, induced by uh, information bit to the recording pit. It means the uh, bit to pit conversion. Then the what happened? Uh, if single photon is converted to bit. Uh, th this is a very, very a kind of a stupid idea uh, to start uh, so a, a single photon signal processing. Flow people recognize that photon is, is the origin of the flow signal. But uh, interestingly, photon is never seen, even always see. We always see the photon, but uh, never recognize the other photon. Seeing is believing is uh, true, but can you believe the photon uh, before seeing? Uh, this is a current big question. And uh, uh, we are now uh, considering how to explain and uh, how to convince the flow society regarding to the, so, uh, uh, the single photon uh, detection. Uh, this kind of the question might be similar to the Gary Leo's question on uh, heliocentrism or not. Uh, there are a lot of the so interesting question on photon uh, uh, issues. Thanks to the, uh, the great achievement uh, by uh, Planck and uh, Einstein uh, century ago, physical properties of a photon is uh, known as an energy packet determined by a quantum theory and uh, energy con conservation principle. Photon energy generally is uh, described by a SI unit. 
Uh, direct wavelength photon uh, has a different energy, uh, but uh, after the converted to the electron, photoelectron pulse shows the same height. Even single photon energy is decided by as a rigorous value, but the photon burst, including uh, several photon, has an energy deviation by a photon statistics. Currently, nobody knows fluorochrome photon statistic nature in fluorocytometry at this moment, because the measurement changes so uh, uh, the uh, uh, signal st st status. <laughs> this is a kind of the contradiction of the quantum theory. The more difficult question is a biological value and the potential capability by a photon detection. My personal uh, wish comparing to the music is listening a voice from a molecule by a single photon. Conventional uh, photon counting is to measure the loudness or intensity only. Of course, is a loudness or intensity is a very important parameters. In addition, uh, we would like to listen a melody from a molecule. Melody is uh, described by a time sequence. I believe the time addressing is possible to listen a melody and the causality uh, from a molecules. Anyway, uh, the biological value by a single photon is unknown frontiers and maybe the treasure hunter field. Next, please. As a summary, the single photon detection is a next generation photo sensing for biological applications, quantum communication and the computing and the other uh, many potential applications. Lesson learning from my technical adventure in consumer and the biological application. Technical innovation is necessary to integrate uh, with a market value innovation according to the paradigm shift. Uh, thank you for your kind of attention. Yeah, th thank you. So it's very big challenge for you uh, making a, a start a start, startup. Um, Paul Robinson uh, comment, you forgot to say all about all our agreements were written on napkins in the bar. Oh, so, yes. <laughs> uh, so how did you build your part partnership uh, when you started the company? Yeah, the, uh, 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 I personally uh, very, very appreciated uh, uh, the uh, flow cytometry, human networking. Uh, the, uh, yeah, one of the uh, center networking is a person and the person is a, so, uh, can communicate uh, everybody in the society. And also the, uh, the it's a very uh, the, so impressive with the flow cytometry society uh, diversity, especially uh, like uh, uh, er, uh, me, the so elder guy is a uh, flu cytometry society is uh, so uh, elder people is uh, so uh, actively working and uh, contribute to the society. It's uh, impressive. And also the, uh, I think is also a, uh, uh, trigger the so new activities, uh, uh, including the Sony is also a, by a, uh, Professor Hatzenberg and the academia, uh, the people is a big uh, power uh, to promote or to move the big company. Uh, that is uh, my honest uh, the, uh, uh, impression of the Fruit Society. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Uh, there are question, other question. Uh, he said he is an uh, older guy, but he is uh, uh, than most uh, 35 years old. Is it very hard <laughs> to keep up with him? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, um, that, that is uh, one of the background is, uh, I, I was uh, uh, the previously Olympian. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the Olympian is uh, so, uh, 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 good uh, characteristics uh, to continue the hard engineering activities. <laughs> I see, yeah, another question pop up. Uh, where did you see the biggest uh, biological impact to being able to listen to the uh, song of the cell? Uh, yes, so the, my uh, personal keyword is currently the single cell analysis is a so, uh, hot topics. 
but uh, by a uh, single photon is uh, we would like to observe the so, uh, uh, single molecule uh, uh, the uh, energy transition uh, via so a single uh, cell. Uh, for example, personally, uh, the, uh, I am interested in the, to observe the ATP cycle. Uh, the so a uh, single photon is uh, produced uh, about the green uh, wavelengths. Uh, such a kind of the molecular uh, the so a observation, and also the I think is uh, the so a single photon is a uh, uh, almost uh, uh, the only way or uh, the effect, most effective way uh, to observe the, so, uh, uh, the uh, single molecule. So the uh, future uh, or currently is uh, molecule-based engineering is a very hot topics and the future trend. I think is also a single photon detection, uh, including uh, flow cytometry, uh, can contribute is also a, a molecular engineering. That is a current idea, but uh, uh, probably uh, it takes uh, 10 or 20 years uh, to confirm because is uh, uh, the uh, market uh, technological innovation is uh, easy to understand uh, in advance, but uh, uh, market value innovation is understand data success of the um, uh, market. <laughs> it means the 10, 20, 30 years uh, the so are behind. Uh, th that is a, a big contradiction, but uh, uh, observing the current uh, the technological trend, uh, the single photon and the quantum technology is the uh, biggest trend and also the uh, possible, the uh, big opportunity for flow cytometry. That is my understanding. Mm. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have uh, three minutes left. So uh, the remaining time we will hopefully for uh, anyone from ask questions, uh, but I want to uh, back uh, the, uh, not answer the question uh, about uh, this slide. Uh, did, did you have to build a new technical team to switch from optical disk to flow cytometry or same team worked on uh, and, both uh, uh, and uh, so the, at that time is just uh, uh, the uh, my uh, uh, I was in charge of the around the 50 engineers team I separated the two team is a uh, uh, 30 member is also uh, continue to the optical storage and the 20 mm -hmm. the younger generation team uh, is uh, looking for the so new direction so the uh, the new team is uh, the started uh, uh, the uh, microfluidics and uh, uh, flow cytometry a uh, current uh, Currently, is uh, many the so a biological uh, professional and uh, other division uh, members is uh, so a joining uh, to the so a team. But uh, I already left uh, uh, the uh, Sony the ten years, so the, uh, uh, it's uh, happy to observe the so a market market uh, uh, existence of the Sony and the uh, new product like uh, ID seven thousand. Okay, thank you. So uh, other question about the last slide. Uh, so looking at the micro environment of the molecule uh, inside a cell, um, and maybe in intercellular circuit building? Uh, 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 yeah, uh, the, uh, 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 the, the, this, this is as well, just uh, uh, text-based figures. And, uh, uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, eight channel signal and the waveform is a uh, 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 DL signal uh, from uh, uh, the photon stream. Uh, this kind of the expression of the signal is might be first time. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, maybe uh, next is the last question uh, from Betsy. Uh, what are you imagining will be the first problem addressed by uh, Miftek, uh, first uh, biological problem, not first uh, technical yes. problem. Although yeah, the are probably the always uh, like uh, the small company is uh, uh, the uh, uh, need to resolve the 
uh, lack of the uh, resources. And the thanks to the, so, uh, uh, the government SBIR funding, mm -hmm. uh, we continue the so, uh, uh, basic re uh, development activities. Uh, but the now is a uh, uh, phase to jumping up to the prototyping and the pro production. Uh, that mm -hmm. is a bigger challenge more than the so, uh, technical challenge. Okay. Uh... Uh, there other another question. Uh, could you explain? Are you talking about the Raman shift or fluorescence in your single photon detection? And, uh, uh, what uh, about the limited uh, photon correction efficiency and uh, finite quantum uh, efficiency of the detector? Uh, and uh, currently, is uh, uh, the uh, silicon. Uh, we are using uh, silicon uh, photomultipliers. Uh, the uh, uh, quantum efficiency itself is uh, so 70 percent is achieved but uh, due to the uh, pixel structure the field factor uh, need to consider and the latest uh, uh, silicon pm have uh, over 50 percent is a uh, uh, we call the pde uh, for uh, the photon detection efficiency and the current uh, sensor is uh, around 25 percent at the peak uh, sensitivities okay thank you uh that's the time for end. So uh, thank you for your uh, wonderful talk. And I also really enjoy and I believe everyone enjoy it very much as well. Uh, thank you everyone for joining and thank you so much uh, Yamamoto-san uh, for exciting session today. Uh, it, it's time to end, uh, but th this chat message session will be open after a while. Uh, so you can enter your uh, additional question. I compiled uh, them and asked Yamamoto-san again uh, for the uh, further asynchronous uh, discussion. Uh, yeah, now the, I, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, thank now you I, very much. And uh, so we hope that the, the uh, younger generation people is uh, interested in a single photon and uh, uh, started uh, some uh, biological or technical activities. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, now I'd like to bring moderation back to John. And I'll just uh, thank you both for uh, a very interesting session. Um, thanks for participating. Um, for our audience, stay tuned for our next session of Innovation Stories coming, coming in the next month. So thanks again. Great job. And uh, we'll see everyone soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you.